I'm always blown away by what the Foundry brings to uh, their Nuke products, and especially Nuke 8. I'm actually, I'm very excited about it. I can't wait to get it in the building. I feel that Nuke 8's kind of got some real kind of meat and potatoes in it, if you know what I mean. Color's very important, and the fact that they added the color wheels right within the color correction tools is great. It gives you more flexibility. You're in and out of that tool so frequently, and that tiny amount of time that you spend just having to close that window going away makes a huge difference. Like really sexifying those those knob controls and those interfaces, it just increases their ability to get the software to do what it is that they're visualizing in the first place. So finally have scopes into Nuke. Uh, uh, parade and waveforms and, and vector scope that was uh, sorely missed. Another huge one is the changes they made to the uh, match grade tool. In a commercial workflow, a lot of times you're trying to match to uh, color correction that they did, and the match grade helps you get there quicker. I was excited to see that in context help be a native part of Nuke. It shows that the foundry is thinking more about user experience. We actually teach our 3D artists compositing. We teach uh, designers compositing. The Nuke 8 update makes that so much easier for someone to get into it. Very excited to see the, the improvements to the dope sheet in Nuke 8. Uh, I use the dope sheet a lot as is, so any improvement to it is, is very exciting. You can now just take all of your keyframes, stretch them out or squeeze them, and then you're done. Just having that fluidity of being able to mess about with those time warps and still actually see where everything's going to be. It's great. The new import nuke functionality, you can sort of, hey, I just need to write out a thumbnail, write out a thumbnail using nuke without having to go through the entire process of starting up nuke and uh, taking a lot of time. It will allow us to take existing tools and be able to bootstrap them almost immediately. Huge thing for me with Nuke um, that I'm incredibly excited about, we all are as a facility, is the monitor output for, for us in commercials. It's something that we've been kind of hoping for for a really long period of time. Now we can just hook it straight through and we can have an interactive comp session with a client in Nuke. It's huge, it's, it's a game changer for us. I'm personally a huge fan of the model builder tool. It's, it's, a, it's a great idea, just the fact that you can kind of build out an environment based on tangents and perspectives. The edit geodote in particular, the ability to take some uh, quick scan that somebody did on set and uh, use that in compositing to project on is uh, very important. We've always been a, a fan of the, the camera tracking tools and being able to generate camera data off of reference photography is huge to us because a lot of times that's all we have from set. The fact you can take other pictures from other angle and uh, essentially building a 3D model with just pictures, it's, uh, it's, in, it's incredible. I think the text tool will be really powerful for our design department and I see that they will have quite a large use of it. We're excited about the inclusion of the XR2, as well as being able to generate deep data from the scanline renders. It smooths out that path to getting deep data and, and uh, deep compositing in our, into our facility. A lot of packages, you kind of feel they're doing maintenance releases as their major updates, and Nuke is always bringing what would be considered high-end research kind of tools as a new function for artists to work with.